Battlefield Vegas is one of the biggest and coolest machine gun indoor gun ranges in Las Vegas. It's located right behind the Circus Circus right off the strip and the difference between this indoor gun range and other gun ranges in Las Vegas is that out in the parking lot there's a whole bunch of military vehicles that you can check out. When you arrive you'll pass through a simulated military checkpoint just drive right on through and park your vehicle. At the time that I filmed this video access to the vehicle displays were free. That may change in the future though. The staff actually uses these Hummers as shuttles instead of buses or limos, which I think is pretty cool. This Hummer was unique because it was used in the movie American Sniper. It was actually on loan to the guys at Battlefield Vegas for SHOT Show 2015. I have no idea what this one's name is, maybe one of you guys can tell me, but it was a pretty cool little 4x4. Check out this M35 Deuce and a Half. This would make for a good zombie apocalypse vehicle just because it's so tall, but it's not armored. They've got a UH-1 Bell Huey that you can actually climb inside and take pictures. You can't go inside all the vehicles, but this one you can. This one's called an M561 Gamma Goat. It's a six-wheel drive diesel cargo truck. Here's a little bit more modern cargo truck. It's called the Stewart & Stevenson M1078 LMTV 4x4 cargo vehicle. This would make a really good expedition RV in my opinion. This one here is called the Peacekeeper four-wheel drive armored personnel carrier. If you look closely, you can't shoot the radiator on these vehicles because it has these steel louvers that block the path of a bullet if you try to shoot it. It's got these gates that swing out. I'm assuming that's for riot control. I like these windows. Not only are they a vent to let fresh air in, but they're also escape hatches, which not a lot of modern vehicles have. This one here looks like an M3 armored scout car from the World War II era. Looks like the engine was well protected, but not very much protection for the soldiers. This one was pretty badass. This is called the uh, British Alva Saracen, which is a six-wheel drive armored personnel carrier. And if you're wondering why the front end looks so long, it's because underneath that hood is a straight eight gas engine. I love these bulletproof radiators. I need this set up on my bug out vehicle. I would assume this is relatively fast and relatively quiet with those rubber wheels compared to a track system. This one's called an M113 APC or armored personnel carrier. And these have been around a long time. My dad used to ride around in these when he was in the US Army in Vietnam. This one here is called a Czech OT64 armored personnel carrier. Almost looks like a Russian version of a Bradley fighting vehicle. Now you know your gun store is badass when you have a tank parked out front. Well Battlefield Vegas has several tanks parked out front. This one here is called an M4 A3 Sherman. As you can see this one here is riddled with bullet holes like Swiss cheese. It was probably used as target practice for modern armor piercing weapons. You could actually see daylight through these holes. This is a good reminder that tanks are very vulnerable without the soldiers to protect them. Tanks bring a lot of long range firepower but if you let one man with high explosives get too close, he could actually take it out. I'm not exactly sure what the model numbers of these are. They look like some variant of the M109 Paladin motorized howitzer. Whatever they are, they're just badass. They got big old guns to shoot big bullets. Here's a Cold War favorite. This is a Soviet T-62 main battle tank from Russia. If you were in the military in the 80s, then this was probably one of your biggest fears, seeing a million of these come across from Russia into Europe. And last but not least, Battlefield Vegas has an Abrams M1A1, which was the tank that was designed to go up against the Soviet T-62. And for a truly unique Vegas experience, you and your friends can rent this Abrams tank and run over a car if you want to. All right guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this quick tour of all the Army surplus vehicles at Battlefield Vegas. Definitely stop by this place if you're in town and tell the guys at Battlefield Vegas that you heard about their business by watching a mixed slip YouTube video. Please hit that like button if you want to support my channel, share with like-minded people, and subscribe if you just found my channel. Thanks for watching.